This is no. No big fella. What's going on guys? It uh, feels like forever and a day since I've been on the water. And anyone who's seen the last video would have known that the old Scouty's been off. Um, in the sin bin for a bit while we've been getting some stuff done. So, I had actually filmed quite a bit over the last two weeks in ways of wiring and carrying on and stuff like that. And you wouldn't believe it, but I uh, bought a brand new SD card just for that purpose and the thing is cooked from the get-go straight out of the packet so um files are all corrupted nothing will load i'm really struggling with it so just turfed it and i'm just gonna do a mad update so this is gonna be a really informative video of everything i've been doing the last two weeks so we're gonna rip the cover off the big girl over there and uh we'll run you through what's going on and hopefully within the next two weeks She'll be back on the water, so we'll go have a look what's going on there, eh? Okay, as you can see, she's a right mess at the moment. <laughs> I'll get somewhere where there's some decent lighting, or backlighting. Oh. Bit bright it's the uh, afternoon just finished work about an hour ago so uh, what you are seeing here is last time there was no console in the boat this time consoles back in so what we did with the console is we actually cut the floor section out around the base kind of like a jigsaw puzzle and from that point we've then glassed uh, marine ply in its place so the thing with this boat, it's a full composite boat and when you are in rough weather, screws back out, they start shaking, bouncing and it actually chews the composite out to the point where all your screws have got zero purchase anymore. So we did the same thing with the T-top when we installed that. Um, so, oh, move some rags here. So the base of the T-top, you'll see, that's not original, we've put these pads in under all the feet and that's for the same reason t-top couldn't even handle a wave without starting to flex and rip straight out of the floor so since we put that in it spread the footprint out uh, a bit more evenly on the floor um, giving it a crap load more strength i can do a chin up off that and she's not moving whatsoever and it still remains a full composite boat so we've put ply on top of the original glass so if you ever have to take it off you just cut it off regel coat it back to normal sweep so it's not as if we're putting a heap of wood in it that's going to rot out eventually they're just small bits of wood um, creating more strength within the hull so um, that's what we've done we've done that with the console too uh, and while we we're at it I got you would have remember the big black kind of plastic switchboard jobby going on there um, that was just perspex and it used to let a lot of water into the console, corroded crap out of my wiring. So while we're at it, ripped the whole console out, we got the full thing stripped back, re-glassed, re-gel coated, um, full sealed unit now. And that's to minimise all the water getting in. So, um, that's something I've wanted to do for a while, finally bit the bullet and did it. Um, along with that, we are now cutting in all our... Well, it's just propped up there so that's our radio all cut into the dash or sticker flex behind it make sure it's super waterproof uh, brand new switch panel there uh, all the wiring you can see so I'm redoing all the wiring as I'm going to uh, wiring has been a massive job on this oh, um, I've ripped every single bit of wiring out of this boat so there's nothing left in it original everything's been replaced apart from the positive and negative coming straight off the motor itself um so it still probably looks a bit messy in here oh, i'll lay down and show you uh, so what do we got in here we've got a fuse block uh all the wiring running out there goes around up to the back of the switch panel uh, we have got new LED nav lights we have got LED 
stainless uh, lights on the base of the console there uh, for night time. Um, what else have we got going on here? We got a bit, we got a bit. Oh, we got the new hatch. Um, so same thing, this originally was the backboard off a cushion that used to go there. We had a crap load of water in, so we actually glassed all this up. It was a lot bigger hole than that was, and we've put a full waterproof hatch in there now. Uh, so that will be so good for like GoPros and stuff like that now too. Um, 16 inch sounder goes on there. Uh, originally the windscreen actually had a crack in it uh, and I didn't have anywhere to screw the bracket down to because half of the top of the console wasn't even there. So the sounder was on the piss. So we've redone the sounder. Uh, recalled the out smaller hole there uh, we'll seal all that up as well so the aim of the game here is that I do not have to touch the wiring ever again um, everything has been crimped with uh, these suckers here um, which are a marine grade resin infused heat shrunk connector and then on top of that I've gone a I think it's a two times skin resin filled heat shrink over that again. So zero corrosion, uh, everything's fully sealed, never have to touch it again. Um, and taking the time out to mock it all out, um, reduce the number of random switches I just had there. I think I had like 12 switches on the dash, I only used like six of them. So I've gone eight switches this time. And basically it's just um, minimising everything so everything works, everything's easy to find and yeah, go from there. So what have we got left to do now? Well, we have got to get a new windscreen sorted because that one's buggered. Um, that might be a little bit down the track because I don't see that being a cheap task so uh, we're pretty broke at the moment. Um, so that will probably have to wait, old one might go on for a bit. Uh, we've got to fix the console down, sicker flex all around it to seal that off. Um, all the wiring's been hooked up. I've just got to finish terminating a few bits and pieces to the switch panel uh, so that I can test it with the battery. Uh, once all that's done, the boat will go in for a service because she's hit 900 hours in about three years. So big girl's like 903 hours so I service this every 100 hours or thereabouts pretty religiously just to make sure because we do go a long way want to make sure uh, hassle free boating and this thing hasn't skipped a beat the whole time so I'm pretty happy with it um, then when we get it back uh, after that um, hydraulic lines get filled up steering gets bled uh, throttle controls and everything got hooked back up so they all get tested and then the only thing left to do after that is to get this t-top secured back to the console so that was also one of the reasons I ripped the console out so the t-top came with these little round stays and they actually punched straight through the glass uh, after I don't know 14 odd months of rough trips <laughs> um, in a flat boat that's probably not meant to go quite where we take it so um, yeah it's just a matter of reconfiguring the stay situation a bit undecided what I'll do there but when I do I'll let you know and uh, see if I can get something a bit stronger happening um, but apart from that she should be ready to go so I'm in the final stages now I've probably got another three or four solid afternoons worth of work to go here and then we shall drop her off to the mechanic, get her back, hopefully have a water test on the big blue. If the weather stays like this, it's been pretty good lately. It's taunting me like you wouldn't believe. So um, yeah, that's where we're at and that's a bit of an update. Uh, nothing super exciting, but at least, uh, at least you know what's going on. And um, I'm pretty pissed that that SD card's cooked because I spent so much time filming wiring and stuff like that. But you win some, you lose some. Not everything goes your way all the time. And unfortunately that definitely didn't go my way. So one quick thing before I go to something a little special that we'll be working on. Um, this again will take quite a while before it ends up in the boat because the modification process to 
get my lean post to suit this new addition uh, will be quite extensive and expensive but we'll get there eventually so I'll give you a quick peek under here we have something that has folding armrests folding backrests and is super duper comfy and I can't wait to listen to the boat so that's what I'm going to tell you for now uh, changes the whole look of the boat and I'm sure it'll change the whole feel I'll probably fall asleep while I'm driving it so yeah, probably not a good thing but anyway I'm going to leave you there so I can get back into this uh, and before we go to quick shout out to the sponsor of this video which is Legends over at Skillshare now um, said it before said it again these guys have it on point so anyone who doesn't know what Skillshare is they're an online learning community that have thousands of classes which are updated continuously every single week um, they offer everything from media art entrepreneurship um, life skills life hacks absolutely everything there's classes on there uh, that will help everyone from the everyday person to someone who wants to get out there change their whole career choice expand their knowledge do whatever you want to do um, these guys have jumped on board and they are offering a once off deal for you guys one month free trial no fees so first thousand people click the link below get a full 100% free oh, I've got a couple of dogs there sneaking around <laughs> sorry full 100% free access to all their classes that's unlimited to absolutely everything they've got on their platform a thousand people hit that link sign up smash that give it a browse you'll never know where it's going to take you I personally use this thing all the time uh, I've just bought some new camera gear as well um, that I've enrolled in a few courses to help me figure out how to use that to its optimum ability and uh, hopefully upgrade these videos a little bit more for you guys once we're back on the water. So thanks again Skillshare, you're an absolute bunch of legends and don't forget smash that link, first thousand people, it's all free, nothing to lose. Okay, see you on the next time.